I just made this video because a young German Shepherd came in with a canine papillomavirus. It's a wart, but it's kind of a white, different wart. It's kind of fuzzy. The ones on the skin, the warts that a lot of people try to pull off their dogs because they think they're ticks, which, you know, I would too, but then they find out they're firmly attached. Those warts are different than these. These are infectious warts caused by a virus. Those other warts on the skin are warts that just grow because a dog gets a little older, especially in poodles. They have a lot of warts that grow on their skin. Um, human, a canine papillomavirus aren't transmissible to humans, but they are transmissible to other dogs. Dogs can get these warts um, from contact and they can take a few months to develop and they can take a few months to go away. There is some reports that a drug called azithromycin is good. We, we have that in veterinary hospitals. Use that uh, for two weeks and it so sometimes make the wart, the canine papilloma virus wart go away. And also if you scrape the wart with your finger, like that one on the tongue that I just showed you, if you just scraped it, it got a, lot of blo got a little bloody, uh, sometimes that's enough to make it go away. So, uh, because what that does is it stimulates the body's immune system to fight it off and so that that's helpful if you have a dog with this problem young dog they can transmit it to other dogs but usually it's dogs with a compromised immune system older dogs uh, dogs that have a, a chronic disease or young dogs that'll catch it um, so that's the story on the canine papilloma virus I just thought you might find that interesting well if you haven't had a chance check my website out dog dish diet Dog Dish Diet is a, is a diet that helps you feed your dog, especially if it has allergies, chronic skin problems, and ear problems, and gut problems. What I've found is the diet has, the most, has one of the biggest effects on a dog's health and the prevention of diseases, even like seizures. Not many dogs will quit seizuring. Well, about 10 to 20% of dogs will quit seizuring when you feed them, stop feeding them wheat glutens. But you've got to remember, lots of things have wheat glutens in them, so it's important to know which ones. Also, uh, Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet instructs you, the other book in my, on my website, Dog Dish Diet, instructs you how to slow cook for your dog and cat. Um, there's so many recalls now and there's so much research that says that nutrition is one of the best things you can do for yourself and your pets that I wanted to give people the tools they need to check it out. So check it out, dogdishdiet.com. You can get Dog Dish Diet and Feed Your Pet to Avoid the Vet. There's links for both. Have a great day.